Yo, what's up, my mullet Sharp here, bringing you guys another video, and bringing you guys 1v1 with Sharp. I think this is my 600th video on my channel. Um, we're probably around episode 80 or so with these 1v1s, so... Should be pretty fun. If you guys didn't check out my video from yesterday where I talked about how I'm going to be redoing my channel and whatnot, uh, not, re not really redoing, but just changing the content up that I'm putting on it, uh, then go check that out. Destroy. And also, I'm not wearing a do rag. I do not, I'm not trying to look like Steven Seagal from, I don't know, Moho like, linked me some movie. He was watching my stream, so uh, looked like I'm wearing a do rag. I'm wearing a scuff head. Uh, trying to avoid getting a fucking headset hump on my head. That's, that's the worst. Alright, so I'm going to push up. Beast. Actually, I'm gonna just go up mid street. We're gonna see how this looks. And he's top drug. All right, that's a bad play. A bad play. Ah, oh, he's using a tracker sight. What a Magundi. We lost that round, but we can still All right, so this. he went top drug. I'm gonna switch to an AR. If he's gonna use an AR, I'm gonna use an AR. <laughs> it's the most wonderful time of the year. Alright, switch up. Let's run AR. Destroy the objective. Uh, I'm gonna go A side. <clears throat> I don't I don't fuck for B man on 1v1s. There's just too many ways you can come from. If I can go A, I can actually get here. I'm gonna Leave plant. Mission, soldier. You're the only one left. The bomb has been planted. Fucking helicopters flying over and whatnot. Ah. <laughs> My bad. I just like zoned out right there. Uh, basically what I was doing, well I didn't really zone out, but what I was doing there was sound, I gotta mute this guy, I can't mute him, I can't talk on mute, I hate this game. Alright, I'll explain this after. <clears throat> Alright, basically what I was doing is I was sound whoring, so that's the reason why I wasn't like communicating to you guys, because this game is really easy to hear people's footsteps, and I was honestly I was playing like a bitch, I mean that's what you gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. I don't know where he's gonna go. So right now I'm just kind of chilling mid street. Um, I'm just gonna kind of wait for them to make a move. I guess at like at 50 seconds I'm either gonna go to A or B. I don't know. I guess I'm going to A. All right. So I'm gonna jump on this top little awning right here. No idea where this dude's going. He might just do the exact same thing that I did. So I'm gonna crouch. To avoid getting sound hauled. Oh, he's sitting back here. Look at him. Woo! I should have looked at that in the beginning. <clears throat> so, the, where he planted the bomb, you guys saw, he probably shouldn't have moved. He could have just sat on that back semi right there. And probably just watched the bomb, to be honest. I don't know if I could have defused from right here, but... <clears throat> I saw where the bomb was planted. That's what made me look back there immediately. Because the bomb was planted to where he could see it from back there. Switching sides. I should have I should have thought to do that as soon as I ran up to the bomb. That's really what you want to do in that situation. First, look with, clear out like the the obvious area, and then look where the bomb is. All right, so this time I'm gonna mix it up. I'm just gonna go mid street. I I feel like he's gonna go mid street. I'm gonna go top semi. I'm just gonna challenge it. Fuck it. Hey, I was right. I was right. Excellent job, team. Get ready for the next round. You think I got wall hacks or something? Alright, so this round, well, what do I want to do? I'm actually going to push out to that middle tank. I have a feeling he's going to challenge me straight now. He's probably going to put the, he was running the sub that side. But I have a feeling he's going to try to do like the same thing I did and just kind of wait back mid street. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get, I'm going to go Gina's, front Gina's right here. Go to the car. Alright, I don't see anything. I'm going to push immediately over to this tank. You're the only one left. Remember your training. I have a feeling he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna be. All right. 
Just gotta take our time here. Slowly advance up the middle street. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's just run over there. Ah, he was in the. We lost that round, but we Ooh, can still win this. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, let's go. He's in the most obvious fight in the world. Ah, he sounded hard to me. <clears throat> I should have kept just walking in there. Search and destroy. All right. Uh. Destroy the objective. I'm gonna go B. Okay, Arm let's acquired. go B. We went A, we went mid-street, we went one, two rounds doing that. Let's just go B, see how this works. Last man standing, finish Let's go straight for the plant. Uh, I'm kind of planting in a shitty spot. I should have planted on the far left so I could see from the back truck. The but <clears throat> I'm going to the most obvious of obvious spots. They always come back. Job, team. Get ready for always, the always come back. Yeah, I kind of went to like a really obvious spot there, post. That's honestly everyone always checks post. That's probably the most obvious spot in the world. I mean, sometimes playing obvious can can work to your advantage because not a lot of people. Oh, go, oh he's not gonna go post. But I, have to, I just feel like that's the building that everyone checks. It's like post, Urgent back truck, destroyed. and in that loading dock is where everyone checks. And then the last place, they're like, oh well, they must be on my side. All right, I'm gonna go mid this time again. Just kind of keep holding down the mid map. He's stunning A side, so I'm feeling he's probably pushing that. Woo! Wow. Maganda! Oh my mullet! Breezing. Wow. I probably shouldn't even have challenged that. That's crazy. It's a fucking pro, man. Switching sides. I probably shouldn't even challenge that gunfight. All right, I know I have oh, I had a specialist, but I'm switching to a sub. I'm just playing fast. Now. I'm gonna push right into this A building and then immediately try to go for the plant. Oh, he's back there! Damn it! He caught me like looking to the right. I was I was looking to the right trying to make sure he wasn't coming zig or push up my right side. And caught me slipping. I don't know if he saw me or what. Damn. Switching sides. My dude was running the marathon class. All right, we're bringing the AR back out. It, the AR was destroy. working. Defend the objective. I don't recommend to throw a stun. Like he threw a stun on when he was on. Oh, uh, I'm gonna challenge it. He seems to go for the plant pretty fast, so... Ooh! Uh, Kobe! Actually, Kobe's on the bench. I don't know who. <laughs> Kobe's the only name that works. You can't be like, oh, LeBron! Like, that shit just sounds bad. Y'all probably like fucking corny-ass white kid. But anyway... What I was saying, I don't even remember what I was saying, but yeah, I, I switched up to uh, to the sub, and I think I think like the way he was playing it is he was just kind of like running around. Uh, he was just gonna use marathon with the AR and push all the way around. But <sighs> hope you guys enjoyed this episode of one v one with Sharp. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like because that helps me out every time you guys click the like button. Uh, and subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I don't know what else to tell you guys. Uh, 600th video. I want to thank you guys for watching all these. Uh, for those of you guys who have been here since the beginning, a shit ton of videos. Uh, and, and here's the 600 more. Peace.